Hello there. Good morning. This is Bernade Flournoy popping in on Christmas Eve. It's chilly over here. I don't know what it's like where you are. I got started on this little winter owl last week when we were testing out um, the background colors. Not, not, not just that. We were testing out to see how the canvas paper would hold up to a lot of water and how the index card paper would hold up to a lot of water, painting the backgrounds. So these are canvas alternatives. And I do have quite a few. Now let me see if this is available for you to see. Quite a few beautiful images. Um, I think that I want to make some busy bundles with those. How you doing? We've been over here doing some of anything and everything. I'm about to get the paint cam going. I've got my water. I've got my brushes. And I was thinking about... For those of you that don't want to use the acrylic paint for other alternatives, crayons, colored pencils, you can add that first and then add a little bit of paint on top. It doesn't just have to be paint. Or you can color. Um, well, you could add your paint, let it dry completely, then fill in some um, of the areas with colored pencils. So we have over here. This is still on the downloads. Let's hang out. That's still in there. And I dropped the link in there. I finally have something on Amazon. And I've been showing you about the holiday bundle. And I don't have my other cam up. It's coming up soon. Where you get three six inch size ornaments I'm saying ornaments but they don't have to hang from the tree they could just be around for festive you get little paint guide you get your it's paint party in a box oh these lights are super bright you get your napkin your plate your apron your paint and two brushes and then I just have a little wax paper in there to protect your surface. That's what I use here. So I figured, let me put that inside of the bundle. And if you're not on my um, email list yet, let me wrap this back up because I wanted to kind of look like a little nice gift in there. And then I had like a little bowl on top. So that's in there i put the link in here now of course it is the day before christmas you'll probably get it i don't know maybe wednesday thursday but it's there so i'm going to get some other things ready to go for amazon it's a process i did not know let's see did it not post i don't think it posted let's see oh it did post okay it just could not post for i don't know but it's, anyway, it's there. I hope you're having a great day, great week. It's cold. We're on winter break over here, and I'm thankful. I'm going to get my paint cam hooked up, and then we're ready to throw a little paint around. Hope you're ready for a little bit of art practice. So once again, we're just going to kind of finish painting a little owl. I may even change the hat color to pink, you know, just, just because. Why not? So thank you. I don't know why that's coming up in error over there. All right. Join me on StreamYard. This is what you would get if you would love to paint with me live one day. All right. What are we doing? Oh, let me go back. And now this is connecting. This would show that you are connecting. And then now... I am ready to pop into the studio. Let me see. I don't know if you see that. Enter studio. 
that's what you would get. And I'm going to pop in there. You're not seeing me live yet, not until I add you to the broadcast. But I am in the studio, and I have the earbud in there so it doesn't echo all over the place. Don't ask me technically why. I just know it stops the echo. Okay? So, oh, let me make sure we're, we're tilted the right way. So we're ready to go. Boom. Boom. Yep. We are ready. So now I am going to pop our paint cam into our broadcast. Just as simple as that. For those of you that are afraid to go live, I've got a few um, paint cards people uh, that are a little bit afraid to go live. There we go. And so now I'm just going to blow it up. Okay, so here we are. This is a uh, part of that bundle. And I'm just going to add a little bit of the, am I going to do that now? Oh, here we go. Yes, yes, yes. Going to add, oh, don't you just love a good snowman? And it's so easy. You don't even need a tracer for that. You just decide how large you want it. And I did use a few little stencils. And then put a nice little shimmer of glitter all over. This is like that fine microscopic. So we're doing all things winter over here for the next couple of weeks. I'll probably finish up the little snowman. If I don't pop on later, I may come on during the week since I'm on winter break. But I'm going to work on this beauty today. Thank you, Delencia. Let me show you another one that I'm interested in working on. I think I'm going to do this as a paint along. So watch out for this coming up as an event. I think I'm going to do this for a, um, yeah, a $10 paint along. I think that's what I'm going to do. So those are some things that are coming up. And now we are ready. I'm going to put a, another layer of glitter on that one. This is just bonus because I happen to see it and I just want to do it. So when you get your glitter, you might have to stir it up because all the glitter sinks down to the bottom. And all I'm going to do is just take this. Okay. And just kind of spread that out there. And then wipe the handle off and I didn't wet my brush and my napkins everything is just right here right off camera it's all right here y'all so I'm gonna have like a little bit of watercolor a little bit of acrylic out here okay so now my brush is wet and all I'm gonna do is just spread this along to give this another coat yes 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 going to get just a little bit more out here. I'm going to be kind of generous. You know, just dotting this along here, just so it'll be easier to spread. Now, this was not part of the program. I just happened to run across this and said, you know, this needs a little bit more glitter. So that's good. And if I really wanted to be bold and bodacious, I would get the folk art glitterific. But this will be nice and subtle. So remember, this is also in that Amazon kit. I'm so glad to know that it is there. Um, you know, watching the, the tracking process of when I took it to UPS, and it was delivered to the Amazon facility. And I guess there was some um, issues with, I don't know if they just automatically put a dozen down or what, I don't know. But I know I sent 10. And then, but I didn't know that it had gone live, you know. So, but now I know it's live. So now here we go. Let's see if we can get a little, little, glimmer of this. It's wet. So I'm just going to set this over here to the side. Now I'm just going to dip this in here and remove 
a majority of that glitter paint from my brush. So it's very glittery. And as opposed to really contaminating my water, I just kind of wipe off most of it into this uh, paper towel. Then I go in here and clean it out. And then even with that, there's a lot of glitter in that water. So I'm going to flip this over. And I'm going to close this up. So a little bit of glitter went a long way. Now, remember, these are starter sets. Anytime I give you something, it's a starter set. It, it will uh, complete the one painting for sure. It depends on how much water you actually use. Let me put my snowflake right on over there. Probably need to have something over here, but we're good. Now, this praying set, let me show you what I got. It's pretty soon I'm going to have a resource page on my website so you can get everything that I'm painting with to make it convenient. So this is praying semi-moist watercolors, okay? And Prang is a good company. It's been around for forever. I love Prang. I love Crayola. Um, I'm going to see about this brush that they're including with it now. So this one, usually they put like some kind of gelatin or some kind of glue uh, substance on it and make it come to a point. But I guess, you know, they say they're not doing that right now. So I don't know. Let me make sure I've got that over there. So let's see what we got. So, not really coming to a point, but it's not bad. Not bad. So, let's try to see what way I want to go. I don't know. Let's see. First of all, when I do watercolors, I do like to add just a drop of water to each, even if I never use them. It's okay, the water will evaporate and it'll be fine. But that just kind of hydrates them. Now, black was the last one I dipped in, and usually that's the strongest pigment. So we're going to get rid of that. So let's see. Maybe I'll do some green for the eyes. Let's see how this works out. Now, I don't know what color an owl's eyes are. You can improvise and do what you want. Now, I have to remember that this is watercolor and not acrylic. Because this can be quickly uh, moved around. Let's see. So, we got a little mistakey poo going on up in here. So, let's see if we can fix that real fast. All right, so that one is, you know, still doing its thing. Let's add just a little smidge of orange over here. I'm going to get a little bit more water. Should have probably wet this a little bit. Now, I can see how I can easily go over uh, and do colored pencils with this. I am going to go ahead and pop myself out. I think I'm going to put a little bit more music back on and just paint for a moment. I'm not sure why that arrow is coming up over here. But anyway, we're going to keep on moving. Let me hit brand and let me put some music back on. And I'm going to pop this.
Okay, I'm going to switch the hat. I think I'm going to switch that out to pink. And I may need more than one coat. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm still going to use the Prang. Uh, what is this? Prang number six watercolor brush. It's going pretty well. I think it's come along pretty good. Um, I'll do the white highlight over here in a moment. Usually that's something that comes along near the end. Ah, so this is looking like I need to add some white up in here. So let me stop. Pop this open. And I'm just going to go ahead and kind of smear off the extra paint. And then the new paint should fit on here just fine. So I'm just going to go right on up in here. Going to get a little bit more of the white. I want to get some water to thin it out just a little bit. But I am going to try to cover as much of this as possible first. Okay, so I am going to get just a little bit of white now to smear this around. I'm going to go back and get a little bit more pink to give this a good base. So I'm going to go ahead and just twist around here so I'm in control of these little edges right here. Now this watercolor brush is a little soft for the acrylic paint, but it's moving it okay. I just need to get just a little smidge more water. You don't want too much water because you still want this to be opaque because we are covering up the red. We're, we're, we're changing our mind so that it could be more of a winter owl as opposed to just for the Christmas season. All right, so let me get a little bit more pink. And then I'm just going to work this round over in here. I'm going to try to eliminate as much of this paint out of this brush. So I kind of get right over here near this, near this edge. Now we can always go back and find that um, black coloring book page line. I'm just going to go ahead and... In this one from here right here so I would definitely want to come back trying to make sure that it kind of feels three-dimensional like a cylinder so we're gonna come up over here all right so we are definitely Oh, going outside the lines over there, y'all. It's not the end of the world. But that's okay. Now, I feel better about that hat. So let me clean out my brush. I'm going to paint immediately. With a little bit of white right along this edge. That's the good thing about acrylics. I'm gonna, oh, my blue is not open, but I'm gonna get a smidge of this blue from the watercolor and I think it should blend fine. Whoops. Okay, so now, you really don't know that I had a little bit of pink outside the line. So I'm get a little bit of water over here. A little bit of pink outside the line. That's okay. I'm going to go in here, get a little smidge of blue right here. Let me get just a little bit more water to help move it along. Okay. Let me get a little bit more water. We're going to see how this, uh, Mixed media, watercolor, and acrylic will blend up okay. I think it'll be fine. Okay, so now we're just going to fade this out. Grab a 
just a little bit of white. We have a little bit more of this blue. Now this part right over here really does need to dry a little bit. But here we go. Now if you don't mind like a little bit of crinkly crinkly, once this all dries, I wonder if you can iron it flat just a little bit. I think I'm just gonna go ahead while I have. I'm gonna flatten this out. I'm gonna go ahead right here on this beak. I might need more than one coat. I'm gonna go right on in here. And give me a little white gleam right here. I might have to go in and get more than one coat. I don't want to put it on too thick because then I might smear it. Okay, but I think that might be what's happening. Okay, so it's coming along okay. I've got a little white, so I'm going to go right on in here and clean this edge up right here. Ah, because this is watercolor and not acrylic, the acrylic picked up a little bit of that pigment. But you know what? We're going to use it to our advantage. So this isn't necessarily the frostiest, snowy, whitiest, whatever part right now. We're going to just kind of go along it, make it a little bit gray. use it intentionally to add just a little bit of shading but it's still making me white so that's one thing you're going to have to watch out for if you're going back and forth with the watercolor and the acrylic you may have to keep an eye out for the colors bleeding together because the good thing about acrylic, once it dries, it's pretty much waterproof. So I may have to hit that with just a little bit of a smidge. But I think while I have some of this in here, ooh, that is intense, isn't it? I'm going to go right back up in here. Kind of give that little gray tone there just a little bit. Help make it feel a little bit more three-dimensional. Note to self, when painting white over something dark, I will probably need to use acrylic. But it's not coming on too badly. So let's go ahead back over in here. Let's wet this. Now this area you could also handle um, with crayon and colored pencil after everything dries up a, a bit. Okay, we just go on up in here. Watercolor, acrylic, we just go forward. We we'll almost have to hit that black. That would have been just maybe a little bit too intense for where we are right now. I think this is fine to give that illusion of uh, let's see I'm hitting a, a little bit of illusion of shadow so what I can do now 
just come on and hit this with a little bit more water. Come on and fade this one out. Let me get some more water up in here. I don't know, maybe it's a big old thick branch of some sort. Uh-oh, the furnace is turning back off, so I don't know what kind of effect that will have with the internet around here sometimes. That the internet and the furnace, they don't play nice over here. I don't know about where you are. All right, so I'm okay with that. Going straight to that edge, I'm just gonna wipe off my paper. with that so now what I can do is get just a smidge on my brush right here and if your printout stops kind of just short this is what you can do as well and no one will be the wiser all right well, I am not sure. I'm just taking this little bit of... I really want it to be super duper dry. I'm just going in with a little bit of texture. Add a little bit more to the feathers. A bit more over here. I don't know if you can see that. Just add a little bit to it. Now it might be nice if you had a picture of an owl sitting there looking at you so you can kind of see some of the subtleties. Now I'm making a note to sell. Have a picture of an actual owl. sitting there next time. All right, so we're adding just a few little details to help it feel a little bit more three-dimensional. And it might be nice if I actually maybe made the background a little bit darker, but we don't have to. I think we're gonna go up here in this tree, this tree branch, I'm going to add a little bit of just water, paint it with water. That'll just help the uh, paint stay on the surface and not soak down in there right away. Easier to spread. And we're just going to come right on over here to the edge, right on over here. Let me, bit, you know what? Let me dip a little bit of water, go into the paint to make it a little bit more intense. Okay. Okay, so there we are. I'm hoping I'm still on this camera. But I twist it and turn it uh, because my hand moves easily like this. So I twist it so I'm in control, you know. So you, it might not be so great for the camera, but when you're, when you're actually working, you want to get the best. Let me not go in that little small area right now. And remember, in the, on paper, I might have to try it on the canvas too. Definitely on paper, you can use a colored pencil, crayons for these little tiny areas, but it's good practice to, to, use, to do everything with your brush or as much as you can with your brush. So up underneath here, this is gonna be like our little shadow area. So I'm making sure this is more paint and uh, maybe a little bit less water, okay? I'm just gonna hit some of this right here. All right, so that's ready to go. And I think what I'm gonna do is go right on back straight to the black paint. I've got too much water in here, so let me kind of not have that. 
Um, I'm gonna go right on over here to the edge. Now I should do this with acrylic so that this black paint doesn't blend if I decide to change my mind over here. I think this come on pretty good. Capturing a little bit of this. I think I'm being too fancy pants with it. We're just trying to take little strokes. And just add a little bit more detailing in there. Okay, I think that's coming along pretty good. Now it probably go along here and fix. I think I'll do that with acrylic. Mm -hmm. I tell you what, before I do too much fixing of that black line, let's go ahead and hit this up with just a little bit of acrylic color. For a little bit of shading, just a little bit of pure magenta through here. I think that's smoothing out pretty good for a little half. I'm gonna come right over here in this little area back over here. That's fine. Now let me could do a little bit more blending, but I think that's okay for now. Oops, I forgot this part down here is a little wet. We're just going to hit that just a little bit. Okay. back on over here. I think that's coming on okay. I'd probably would be a little bit more dramatic if I were to make the sky maybe a little bit darker. I like that value that's back up over in there. But I think this is okay. Let me make sure I've got some pigment on here as opposed to just water. were a little bit darker down here it would have a greater effect but you know we get it
finish it up with a little bit of black. Here's my other thin one. So you want to kind of treat this black almost like a pencil. So I have some on there. And remember, I twist it and turn it the way that I barely have any paint on here. I got more on here now. And I just kind of move it along. Dip like a old time calligraphy. Dip and move. Now this is coming out a little bit thicker than really what I want, but it'll be okay. All right, so that just kind of defines that line again. So we're gonna find this line over here. Oh, I need a little bit of water up in there. Let me see if I can fix a little bit in here. this lid so that now I can go right on over here straight on to the edge okay we can clean up some of this here too It looks like a piece of popcorn, but you know, your improvisations are what they are. And I think we're okay. You okay with this? Are you okay, Mr. Powell? We're just going to take whatever leftover paint we have in our um, brush and we just add a little bit more texture. I think we're good. Uh oh, we're dropping things. I am oh, happy with these things. Now, what I think I'm going to do, I'm, tw I'm tilting it the wrong way. So I want it to kind of stand straight up so that the little owl is tilting. I think it's cute. I think we're ready to rock and roll. Maybe could add a little bit more blue down over here. But we got to remember that this is actually watercolor over there. Not um, acrylic. So as long as you kind of keep that in your mind and separate it out. Yeah, I think we're good. I'm just going to bring this right on over here. And get just a smidge more water. Okay. 
which is kind of blending where that all kind of meets up. All right. Oh, I forgot that I took that one cam off. And, well, let me put the other paint cam back on, guys. So up here, I would probably just add a little bit more blue up over here. Probably what I would do. Okay, since we're right over here, might as well. And then just add just a little bit more water to help blend that out. Now, I'm seeing now if you blend and rub too much. Um, I don't know if you've ever erased a piece of paper where you've gone a little bit too much on it. It will kind of blend, uh, not blend, what do you call it? Peel up a little bit. All right. So I am just kind of going around here just a little bit. Just because I wanted a little bit more color. So there we go. I think we're okay with that part. Yeah, we got a little bit more color going on. And we're just painting over what we already have. It's not going to disturb it too much. Okay. So now we got a little bit more color. And when this dries, it's ready for a cute little frame. Now, I can go over this little edge with a little bit of Sharpie. It's okay. That's it. Now, uh, let's see. So, yeah. That is it for today. Finishing up our little winter owl. Let's see if we can get our little YouTube picture going. Quick, easy, fun. You can definitely add more uh, coloring, more shading. It's a little darker than what it appears to be. Let me twist it this way. I am twisting it the wrong way, people. I do this all the time. You would think I'll be getting it right. I am not. There we go. That's a little bit better. We still got... Okay, there we go. That's better. Well, this is Brene Flournoy popping in, hoping you are doing well. Uh, well, we've got some kind of foolishness going on here in the chat. Let me go ahead and block the user. All right. Anywho, whatever that was... Thank you, but no thanks. This is Brene Flanoy. I am on winter break, so you may see me on here a few days, okay, this week, painting because I need to, um, it just does something for me. I'm just excited to paint, uh, and I've got so many cute, adorable things. This is not on the site yet, but I think I'm going to have some paint-alongs. And I want to invite you to join me to paint. Come on in here and paint with me. Um, I will not be hopping on later today. I thought about it, but you know, it's the holiday. I'm just going to relax and eat a little bit, chill a little bit, make a few phone calls, stay in this house because it's cold. But I hope wherever you are, you're safe. Um, and if you're traveling, oh, I hope the roads are clear and the wind is not blowing as bad, but the whole country is super cold. This is Christmas Eve 2022, December 24th. 
2022. This year really flew by. Mm. Really flew by. Well, I hope you were able to get some of the things that you plan to do done. Um, once again, I'll recap. I have an actual product on Amazon now. But of course, uh, the holiday bundle, you can paint it for next year. The link should be in the, uh, who knows now anymore. I don't know. There was an error that came up. The link should be, let me see if, did I post it? Control V. Yeah, I'm post posting it again. It may or may not pop up. Who knows, y'all? Did it pop up? Okay, this time it popped up without an error showing. So yeah, there we go. Um, look for more things to come in the new year. I am super excited about being in the Amazon space. I'm super excited about uh, other opportunities that I'm laying the foundation for now. Uh, I'm going to be painting, doing a paint party a month online with you once a month. In addition to our little art practice here. Now today, I just wanted to, I just wanted to paint that owl. It was so cute. So many cute things. So little time. But let me know what you're interested in. Let me know how I can help you. Uh, make sure you join my Facebook group. Maybe I should put that in the chat. How about that? Let me go find my Facebook group, y'all. I'm going to pop that in the chat. Um, make sure you get on my email list, uh, www.thepaintedpose.com forward slash download. Then you can get the current winter downloads. Uh, let's see. Here we go. Paint Party Lovers. Tips for new painters. Okay, there are other people joining, but I am looking for the people that want to learn basic painting. I want to be the art coach for newbies, okay? So that's who I am. That's who I'm uh, marketing myself as. Uh, but, you know, if you just want a few ideas, come on over here. Uh, so there we go. That's the Facebook group. Uh, right now, there's no, no charge for... There's a free version. Uh, please pop in. Um, still waiting for a legal piece. Uh, let's see. I'm hoping to get an email. I was hoping to get one yesterday about uh, my last little legal component that I need to put on the website so that I am in compliance uh, with the e-commerce uh, system that's online. It's coming. And, you know, sometimes you have delays and you have to keep moving. Now, I wanted to launch on the 16th of December, but, you know, that didn't happen. But, you know, we, we keep moving. Uh, I'm not devastated. I'm, I wanted that to happen. But the launch is coming and I can't wait for the new uh, founding members. Uh, you guys, there will be a short window for you guys to join Um uh, so you can get in and kind of help form and structure a group to your liking. What is something that you know that you would love to show up for every week that you would give, you know, 15, 20 minutes at least uh, every week to, you know, I want to create a good environment. I have almost 500 members in my free Facebook group right now. Um, yeah, but we need 500 people in here talking and interacting and engaging. So if you are a new painter, uh, say for instance, you're an empty nester and you just want to paint for relaxation and joy, come on and join me. Uh, try me out at the free level. Uh, you might decide not to be a founding member right now, but know that when I do open the doors up again, it will be at a, a higher price point. So for the founding members, of course, there's some benefits and some bonuses and some extra things that you'll get. And you tell me what, what you're interested in. And we'll try to make some of that happen for you. This is Bernade Fernoy, art teacher by day, portrait painter by night, weekends, paint party instructor, art kit maker. And let me flip my hair, y'all. Art coach for new painters. How about that? Mm, mm, mm. It's time to update my website about me page, y'all. Mm. 
We're doing some things. I hope you're doing some good things where you are. Bring somebody a smile today. Spread a little art joy. I am signing off. Peace to you. Have an amazing rest of your holiday weekend. It's the holidays. All right. Let me go ahead and sign on off here. Peace, peace, peace. Next time, let's do this. We could finish up the snowman, but these mittens I can't wait to get to. Peace to you.